hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video people of god i'm super excited yes guys because amaka don't disappoint me today like like you will not understand like why i'm super excited Amaka did a presentation today, people of God. She did not stutter. She did not do all those things she was doing before. She gave us the best presentation of the class. Like, I almost said no. But Beauty Brother has, you know, told us that it's not pronounced no. It's actually pronounced kno. So, kno. <laughs> Anyways, guys, they had their kno presentation today. Where, as usual, each level was divided into two different teams. Yes, guys. And they were to cook in two hours or cook for two hours in the arena yes guys so in the level one we had team greens and team obonge jellof which is spearheaded by chichi the chef while team greens is uh, spearheaded by um rachel the chef yes guys in the other level that is level two we had team spicy abi suya jellof something something abi spicy suya um jellof yes guys and we also had team Las Giri Jalof. Now, team Las Giri Jalof had the chief chef, which is Amaka. And for the other Suya Jalof team, we had Fina spearheading it. So they had two hours to cook up a storm for Big Brother. So they were to be judged by presentation, innovation, taste, and uh, I think how they use the no. Basically, there were like four different categories with which they would be judged with. They had like two hours to present they were all giving their best but somehow somehow Fina's Jollof was very very attractive I'm not even gonna lie like when I saw that thing the way the camera was just focusing on the Jollof when it was plated or more I remember that somehow somehow I've not eaten Jollof this week maybe I just have to go and make Jollof maybe tomorrow because ah there's no way I'm gonna be looking at all this Jollof and I'm not gonna have a taste of it I think people that should be inviting us the fans to be the ones to be tasting all these things I beg now anyways after the cooking people that directed you know them to go to their various houses but not before taking the pots with them yes guys so they went into their houses to await Big Brother's instructions but now here is my problem when you know i tuned in to watch the level one housemates in the you know um what you call it room it was not showing channel 199 it's up till now i said the time i'm recording this video is still not showing even i tried to watch their show max on my laptop same thing i don't know why my brother would kind of like fix it they said they are going to fix it as soon as they can i really do not like that i don't like it when some house or some levels don't get screen time like it's not right at all but i'm sure they are going to work it out anyways after some minutes Big Brother called them to the lounge, so we only got to see level two. But from what Big Brother was like, level one should settle down. Um, apparently, level one was hearing Big Brother's voice too. And Big Brother said, for the best presentation, we had Team Jalof Abilas Gidi Jalof, which is Amaka's team. I was super excited for her. Like, you guys will not understand. You remember how Amaka, like, how she acts during presentation? Remember how she literally flopped yesterday during the presentation? During the diary session today, she kind of, like, told Big Brother, see, she doesn't know what happens to her. She will have all these things to say in her head. But when she stands in front of people, she can't say it. She knows she's not a shy person, but she just have this whole stage fright and everything. And Big Brother gave her, like, some very good advice. And even before they got out for the no or the no tags her fellow housemate also kind of like encourage her and all that so i think all those things put together made amaka's presentation top notch like i enjoy the presentation how you know she became a peacemaker because of knowledge love <laughs> hey i was like is this my amaka 
<laughs> well, I'm not going to they disappoint. Oh, hey. Anyways, for the team that won, we had the team Suya, Spicy Suya Jalof, which is Fina's team. They won. Yes, guys, according to Big Brother, they took three of the four boxes. So a very big congratulations to them. Yes, guys. I mean, I'm super happy for them. Like I always say, you put in the work, you get rewarded for it. Now, away from all that, it seems like Ade Kunle is having something, 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 you know, between him and Shex. Yes, guys, while, um, what's her name, Doyin, was kind of like advising him to mingle more with other people in the house, like Rachel, like other people, not just she and Allison and Dotun. Ade Kunle mentioned, you know, that when he won the head of house on Monday, Shex was like um he thought people that were given the power to like swap the two houses or to swap housemates from two houses and he was so sure that adekule was going to swap or kind of like um separate him and bella and he was like where is this coming from like he doesn't understand you know why he would have that kind of mindset my own is shake should just understand that this is a game and just like ebuka said last week um sunday you don't need no other body you came there by yourself it's a game you have to play individually in as much as you know you are in love you are in a ship and all whatnot yes guys now away from all that we had um i got a sad news a very very sad one concerning one of your big brother niger housemate that is kes yes guys sakes as his fellow level housemates normally call him so apparently kes lost his baby yes guys now you all remember that kes when he came into the house he let his fellow housemate know that his wife is expecting a baby well sadly he lost the baby like i could not believe when i saw that um write up on insta blog i actually thought to myself what exactly why would they write this i actually waited you know to hear an official or to see an official statement from you know his page and i got it this is what they put out they said the past weeks has been the most trying for the family of Ade Ovu. I hope I got the name correctly. We are saddened by his loss of by his loss of Kes' son through miscarriage, but we are comforted by the well wishes and kind thoughts of friends around. Special regards to the wife for being strong and courageous through the whole experience. The family is devastated at the deepest level by the loss, but we want to reiterate that the wife is in perfect condition as it happened weeks ago. The family collectively decided now is the right time to announce the news. Kes is a strong character and would need our prayers right now as he continues his quest in the Big Brother show. The family asks for respectful consideration during this private time. Thank you, Team Kes. Now, according to the gist, um, this happened, I think, on the third day when he got into the house. Like, this is very, very sad because while this happened, Kes has already um, I remember him telling Beauty how Beauty is going to be the god mom for his son it's i don't know it's sad it's sad because in my head i'm thinking how is he going to receive this news like for the first time i was like okay maybe they should inform him you know but maybe his family doesn't want that to happen because we know the moment you know he's informed he'll literally pull out from the show maybe his family doesn't want that i'm just like thinking how this would be on him when he gets out to find out that okay he lost his son i think that's their first child together wow like <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speechless. I don't know. Because that kind of feeling when you're coming out from a place, you're expecting to see maybe your wife or the baby or something and you just come out to this kind of news is really, really devastating. Like it's, it's a sad one. People of God, I just, I just had to come out and say it. Usually I don't like this kind of gist. I really do not like this kind of gist. I love happy gist. I love, you know, normal apropos, but I mean, it is what it is. And I just have to like, let you guys know on that sad note, I say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. Please put Kes in your prayers, you know, um, put his family in your prayers, and till I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.